I'm Delia, and I'm here to tell you about Giuseppe Piazzi. Now here's Z telling us a little information about Piazzi's early life. <laughs> Piazzi was a famous known Italian astronomer. He was born in Ponte in Valtellina, Italy, on July 16, 1746. He was the son of Francisco Piazzi and Carolina Molini. Before he was an astronomer, he was a professor at various colleges and universities in Europe. In July of 1770, he became a professor in mathematics at the University of Malta. In December of 1773, he became a professor at Colegio de Nobili, Mathematics and Philosophy. In March of 1781, he moved to Palermo to lecture in math. When he moved back to Palmero, he got help from the Viceroy of Sicily to fund the Observatory of Palmero. In January 1787, he became an astronomy professor at the university, and he got the opportunity to spend two years in Paris and in London. While he was in Paris and in London, he got special training for the astronomy position that he received. He also had the time to find instruments to be specially built for the observatory back in Italy. Whose foundation took place on July 1st, 1790, and a little over 10 years later, he founded the largest war planet on January 1st, 1801. On March 29th, 1807, he founded the largest asteroid, Vesta, both orbiting in the same region of space. Both were later then explored more through the same mission, the Mission Dawn. which is the first space mission to orbit two worlds. This mission launched on September 27, 2007, and has been going on for over a decade. In 2011, the Vesta arrival that happened in July, it began to orbit around the asteroid and sent them back to NASA. In 2012, Vesta's departure, which happened in September, made its way to the dwarf planet Ceres. In 2015, Ceres' arrival happened in March and it began to orbit as well. In 2016, it was the end of the Prime mission, which happened in June. The mission got an extension to orbit more objects that are orbiting around the same region. From this mission, we have received data that the asteroid Vesta is rocky, while the dwarf planet Ceres appears to be icy. Together, they bridge the rocky worlds of the inner solar system and the ice bodies far beyond Saturn. From Piazzi's time to our modern time now, we have actually gotten data from Ceres. And to start is that before it was actually considered a planet, and then more objects were found orbiting around the same region, and Ceres was demoted to an asteroid status. Then in 2016, it was redefined as a dwarf planet along with Pluto once there was a clear definition of what planets were. It had to orbit the sun, it had to be round, and it had to remove debris and small objects around its orbit. Ceres is the largest dwarf planet orbiting on the belt between Mars and Jupiter and is located in the inner solar system. When Dawn arrived in 2015, it was the first dwarf planet to be visited, visited by a spacecraft. It has a radius of 296 miles and has a one-third radius of the size of the Earth. According to NASA science, if Earth were a nickel, Sirius would be as big as a poppy seed. Sirius is 2.8 astronomical units away from the sun. From this distance, it takes 22 minutes for sunlight to reach from Sirius to the sun. Sirius also takes 4.6 Earth years to make one trip around the sun. As Sirius orbits, it completes one rotation every nine minutes, making it the shortest rotation in the solar system. As for more information that we found on the Mission Dawn, Vesta became the second most massive and second most largest body in the Astro Belt after the dwarf planet Ceres. And it is said to contribute about 9% more mass of the asteroid belt. Vesta is supposed to have around the same length as Arizona with a diameter of 525 kilometers. 
It appears to have a surface of basaltic rock or frozen lava, which oozed out of the asteroid's hot interior when it was formed about 4.5 billion years ago and has remained largely intact ever since. Vesta has a unique surface which scientists look forward to peering into, and in the asteroid's south pole, there is a giant crater of about 406 kilometers across. That's right, yeah, 106 kilometers. About 406 kilometers. We're done. Yeah. Lastly, thanks to what's his name? <laughs> I'm so sorry. He he's. Giuseppe, 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 Giuseppe Piazzi, Giuseppe Piazzi, Giuseppe. No, it's Giuseppe Piazzi. Okay. Lastly, thanks to Giuseppe Piazzi's greatest discoveries and research, we got a lot of data for both the dwarf planets and the asteroids that are flying around a belt. And here are a few clips to show um, the. Dawn mission and its data that it's collected and special thanks to Z for helping me the end <laughs> <laughs>there's a mountain that's two and a half times the height of Mount Everest. It's very young, it formed very hot, but we also found that there was water on Vesta and that water had to come from somewhere else. And now we're on the verge of exploring an even larger alien world series.